I think it's really exciting that the Crescent are doing My Night with Reg, especially as Kevin Elliott was a Birmingham boy. I think it's a brilliant play. I think it's a timeless play. It's both very, very funny and very, very sad and very, very important. John, what will you ever tell him? You think I should? Yeah. So do I. So will you? I've never faced up to responsibilities. Got to sometime now, haven't you? He also had this wonderful heart, um, and he he was he's very funny, he's very sharp. He could be very critical and very cutting, both in his plays and in life. Um, but he had such a passion for the people that he writes. Has it ever crossed your mind that some people might find even me a little bit attractive? One or two have in the past, you know, Benny. And he made me feel a darn sight better than you do most of the time. I don't want to lose you. Kevin never writes a bad part. There are small parts and there are larger parts, but, but, but every part is, um, you know, every actor is rewarded for turning up that night with, uh, with their moment or with their scene or with something that, that um, makes that character three-dimensional and gives them a kind of a dignity and an identity and a, and a relationship with the audience. So I think, you know, for all those reasons, his plays are, um, are, are real, gr really great. They, they, they constitute a really great body of work and My Night with Reg sits at the very pinnacle of that. Well, I was a bit drunk, you see, and he forced himself on me. I couldn't do much about him. What a bastard. The worst thing was he didn't use any protection. Can you imagine? I mean, how irresponsible. Couldn't stop thinking about it. Spoiled the rest of my holiday. Oh, the way they go on in the pub. Can't understand it. They only ever think about one thing, and they don't seem to care much who they do it with, either. I don't want to be like them. It's more to life than that, isn't it? Yes. I can wait. I'm quite happy. Pull yourself together, Gert. It was just a post-schoolboy crush. You can't spend the rest of your life lusting after someone you never see. I know it's stupid, but you don't really believe me, do you? And you don't think it's possible? And he's hardly reliable. Adorable, yes, but... Completely irresponsible. The last person to have a relationship with. God, the two of you. A bit out of order, weren't we? You never seemed to stop. I should have graduated in shafting. <laughs> I might have got a first then. <laughs> the critic David Benedict said it's the best British play about secrets and lies, about lying, about the cost of lying, about the kindness of lying sometimes, um, about the farce of lying. Um, the whole thing is built on uh, uh, lies between friends, and um, uh, and so uh, you know, which which makes it uh, a brilliantly timeless play. Every morning, I wake up and I check my body inch by inch to make sure something hasn't appeared during the night. And then when I get back from work, same routine. Every cough, twinge, or itch brings me out in a cold sweat. And then I start panicking about the cold sweat. I tell you, if I haven't caught anything, it'd be a bloody miracle. It may be that we have lived through, and many of us didn't, this terrible thing at this terrible time, at this specific moment in history, but the, the, the joy and the art and the stories that came out of that moment will live forever. <laughs> Always reminds me of you. I wish Rod, the cast, and everyone at the Crescent the very best of luck for the show. I think it's brilliant that you're doing it and keeping Kevin's legacy alive, and I'd encourage anyone who can to go and see it.